Hi right, guys, welcome to Nine Links. Um, this is your host Alex. Just want to let you know today is I'm very excited. Just like a little kid's getting his for her new car, <laughs> new toys. Okay. Um, anyway, I ordered from uh, New York Car. Uh, you know, the nursery, uh, North Carolina, uh, North Carolina. That's what they called it. Um, this uh, nursery, I think I mentioned that before. Um, they sell a lot of different cultivar of sweet olives, and some of the cultivar is not you know what should i say it's not very common most of the time when you buy online you know you you see those they say osmanthus fragrance that's it they don't tell you anything besides to tell you that name you know sweet olive uh whether you know if it's a four seasonal or if it's silver or it's gold or it's scarlet what what you know what kind it is that you rarely say that but this website they are professionally uh i'm not affiliated with them i did not get these free i ordered them myself um Basically, you know, I just want to give them a thumbs up for having such, you know, different kind of a cultivar on sweet olive. Anyway, back to the subject. I just got these three uh, Osmanthus fragrance. Uh, uh, it means uh, it's, it's uh, what should I say? It's fragrance every day. Uh, kind of like that. <laughs> um, but anyway, the main thing is this uh, sweet. It, they're all the same, by the way. They're all the three cultivars are all the same. Uh, now you probably ask why you buy three instead you can just buy one and grow it and propagate it it's uh sweet olive is easy to propagate uh like i demonstrated in the previous video uh, if you look it up um now the reason i'm doing it is that um i'm planning on to plant i don't know if you can see the pothole right there i dig i dug one over there and i dug one over there so i'm gonna have two sweet olives on the side of the patio eventually they're gonna grow big i mean you know provided a fragrance over there and then there's one going into the front yard uh now for the front the builder gave us two trees um they both live oaks and i'm not a big fan of live oaks and the other one is not doing too well so i decided to you know give home association a call and say you know what i'm gonna take this down so which i did and i took it down chopped it off and uh, got that whole dug um see the picture right there and then i'm gonna plant one of the sweet olive in the front so basically the whole house will be surrounded by sweet olive so you probably ask me seems like you did a lot of video on sweet olive how many sweet olive do you have i have quite a few i gave away a few too and i killed a few of them too on my way down from kansas so right now i'm i have these these three sweet olive uh sweet olive um they're the same cultivar here so there's three right here there's a one that i got for free from the nursery that is all the way in the back i don't know if you can see right there that one so um that's four and there's a one in the front uh, two, actually two one of them died um uh didn't make past the winter um the one that made it was a sweet olive goat um so that uh sweet olive thumber guy i think that's what you call it um anyway that's the code for our name but so the gold one only blooms um around uh no and this weather probably around like october usually in china it's usually like around august or september but weather over here is a little different so it's usually uh october for these guys these are four seasonal uh, four season four season sweet olive that means now on the website and the research i did on these is that uh, they bloom all year round Ex uh, not all i guess like 100 percent all year round it's about 275 days roughly almost all year almost all year so, and also these this coat of art it's very cold hardy uh the one in the front is sweet olive gold it's uh it survived freeze and it did not die all the way back down it kept on growing from the branches that uh last year so it's a great thing um but that one if it's get any colder than that i'm pretty sure it'll, it'll kill it too but this one is different it's a lot hardier this one i think is hardy as its own 70 to i think 70 to 9 um the one in the front is 8 to 9 so this one is a little bit more cold tolerance than the one in the in the front so that means over time over the years i'll be these guys will be doing very well over here i hope so so you know, just excited. I want to share with you. Um, and this one actually, if you look closer, it's on blooming actually. <laughs> That's why I say uh, it's blooming nonstop uh, all year round, 275 days. Not all year round, 275 days. The other two is very healthy. And um, one thing I do want to point that out that um, this nursery gives it, uh, like send out really healthy plants. Um, I killed a few times on the one I brought down from Kansas for a reason. Uh, you know long trip and also i overwatered it and it was a big rain day too uh, but anyway long story short they 
have really healthy plants and like it comes in a box ignore my knife cutter here and they even come in the instruction tell you how to take care of it which is the same every time um, and they even have a you know pest uh control uh, inspection on it make sure you don't get any pests from them or you know just something like that um now these do um they they are uh came in a root ball which is wrapped in the wrapper not in a form of container if you want container you can ask them it's not it doesn't cost you money i mean if for them it's cheap anyways for they give you those plastic you know the standard black uh one of those containers. Um, now, the reason they sent you a root ball is that most of the time when you get it, you're gonna replant it anyway. So, you know, no point of sending the, um, and also it's easier to pack in the, in the box. Anyway, so I just got it today. So what I'm gonna do, I'm first thing I advise any, you know, plant lovers out there, um, when you do get the plant first, don't pot it right away unless you pot it into a container. Uh, then you can pot it and put it in a shade area, give it about two or three days at least uh, for it to accumulate, um, to get used to the environment that you're, uh, that where you're at. Um, remember, these plant made a long journey from the nursery to the, uh, you know, whatever UPS truck, you know, all the shakings and stuff in the, in the dark container. So give them a little break before you plant them. And especially if you plant it on the ground, definitely, definitely you do not want to plant like this hot day right now extremely hot i mean not extremely hot but it's hot day full sun and they just got out of the dark box and after a long journey give them a break so i'm gonna leave it here for at least a couple days and then i'm gonna plant them um another th one uh, positive thing i want to point out is that uh, sweet olive are very very not picky or maybe i phrased that one just basically not picky when it comes to soil type it's preferred soil type is acidic soil but it could um, so, uh, you know, tolerate the uh, clay soil as well, which, you know what, Texas is clay soils everywhere. So it's perfect to plant this. And uh, now just on a side note, why I'm not a big fan of live oaks. Live oak is a messy and when live oak, when they grow, um, they don't grow like bush here uh, when it kind of a nice pattern. They were like sticking out here and there. I mean, for people who live in Texas, know what I'm talking about. Uh, and also the majority of the pollen that the people are allergic to is usually during the seasonal is usually have to do with live oak so and live oaks it's just it's just everywhere I mean, you know you see every house is, have a live oak in the front so i'm just want to try to uh, do something different anyway just a small update i'm still excited all right take care